Stars. This is a brand new YouTube channel and I'm very excited to be here with you guys. So Make It Work is all about uh, giving you ideas on how you can come around things that could be expensive and time consuming. I've learned so many things over the course of the time because my life is very busy and I still want to get many things done. So as our first official video today, I'm going to be showing you a very quick recipe that you can make for your family, for yourself or whatever the case may be. This is a very fast and filling recipe. I learned part of it from my auntie. She actually doesn't know that I was learning when she was making it in the house every other time. So stay tuned to get the details of the recipe. I hope you will like it. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Ask me anything that you may want to ask me, guys. But without wasting a lot of your time, let's get right into the video. Welcome, by the way, to Make It Work With Mouse. So yeah, stay tuned and let's do it. All right, so here is our freshly washed chicken. I bought some chicken pieces. I've already rinsed them. So what I'm going to do is to add these spices. So this is a combination of raja, all-in-one spice, and two different chicken spices. I need a lot of flavor in my spice. That's why I have three combined all together. And here I have my tomato ketchup. Tomato ketchup. I'm going to create something like a a thousand islands using tomato ketchup and salad dressing or salad cream or mayonnaise whatever that you have in your house so now oh i'm just gonna put a little bit of salt here's my salt shaker i'm just gonna put a little bit of salt in here there's not really an amount i like to shake it off like this until i feel like my chicken has the right amount of salt. And then I take my tablespoon, I mix it all together, or like this, or like this. This is just to make sure that all the pieces have salt in them. So it's the most important ingredient in any dish that you may cook. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt once again. Trust me, it's not too much. It's not even too much salt. Uh, because we're gonna put in a lot of other vegetables in their cooking pan. So the salt will just spray to every other vegetable and then it tastes to be even and very nice. The next thing that I'm gonna do is to add my spices. I'm gonna add them like this to make sure that everything is nicely coated. I'm gonna take my tablespoon the reason why I like to use the tablespoon is because I can hold it strongly and it allows me to shift it meat pieces, mix them all together like this, like this. So you can see that all the pieces are getting the spice caught, you know. So now we've just put our chicken spices and stuff like that. And here is my other favorite part. I'm gonna open my ketchup. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna open my ketchup and there we go. I like it. Okay. I didn't really need to transfer it to another. And I'm gonna open my my salad dressing. Oh my god, it's actually hard to open. Okay, there we go. And there we go. So this one here, I definitely need another spoon to help myself. After we've put some tomato ketchup is gonna go in we need to make it so so juicy so these are like five tablespoons because this one is very thin so the tablespoon full ones are really really thin and the next thing that you're gonna need to do after you put your spices your tomato ketchup is to add 
their salad dressing or mayonnaise or salad cream whatever that you have in your house guys look at that the marinade and the aroma is just so good makes me feel like eating it already so boom Everything is uh, evenly coated. Here is our freshly prepared chicken. It's marinated. So here we've put chicken spices, uh, like the regular all-in-one spice, chicken spices from two different brands. And then we've put our tomato ketchup and salad dressing. Now we're gonna let it sleep overnight and then we're gonna come back tomorrow with the rest of the ingredients and show you how to make this one pot meal. Okay guys, so to begin with, um, since this is make it work, my kitchen is very tiny, so there isn't enough space for me to be doing what I need to do to prepare the food. So I use my dining room table to prepare the food and then I get it to the kitchen. It's just right across there. I'm actually looking at my kitchen right now. I then just take the food there. So yeah, that's what it is. Make it work with nails, remember? So to begin with, I'm just gonna cover my hands. I have these hand covers. I don't really know the name for these ones, actually. In China, they are very common. So that when the cooking gets messy, I don't really have to spoil off my clothes or to pull them up, you know. So yeah, that's just what it's about. So here I have my freshly washed potatoes. I Sweet potato, carrots, green pepper, and garlic. Now I'm cutting my potato pieces and I'm trying not to make the potato pieces too thick because if the potato pieces are too thick, they'll take forever to cook and you don't want that. Here's my sweet potato. I'm also cutting it in circles so that I give my vegetables one shape. Here's my carrots. I'm done cutting my vegetables. And here is my overnight marinated chicken ready to be placed on the pan. I'm laying it down on the pan and there's no oil added there. Take note because the meat produces oil and adding cooking oil will just make the food greasy after it is cooked and we don't want that and right now I'm just scattering around the vegetable pieces and I'm just gonna make sure that all the pieces have some marinade on them to retain the flavor you need flavor in this dish guys oh it's so yummy so the juice is just gonna give it all that extra flavor that we need and I'll also put my carrot pieces on top of everything. I've mixed my vegetables and meat a bit so that all the pieces get to feel the heat and cook up nicely. Here I'm just cutting out the garlic pieces to sprinkle on top of the dish so that the garlic can just produce that aroma and also I add flavor. They are not really like oven people like we are, so it's very weird to find a house that's got an oven. So I had to buy like a tiny oven. It really gets the job done and I love it so much. So that's where we're gonna be putting this. Everything is well set and ready to cook. So I'm gonna be putting it in the oven for maybe the first 30 minutes. After everything is started to brown, I'm, going, I'm just gonna go in and turn the meat pieces as well as the vegetables that we have here so that we can cook both sides. So now let's get to the oven. There you have it. We're gonna let the food cook for 30 minutes. I did not preheat the oven because it is not a requirement. After 30 minutes, the food is gonna look just like this. Already it looks so appetizing. But at this point, we are just not done cooking. We need to turn the meat pieces as well as the vegetables to allow them to cook on both sides. This way, the vegetables will be very soft and nice 
if you want them crunchy well i don't know but for me this is how i prefer them we're gonna put it back in the oven for the next 30 minutes again to make sure that everything is well cooked and it's gonna come out just like this look at that guys the food is well done the vegetables are soft as you can see me going in with my fork and it looks so oh yummy oh my god guys this is so yummy the food making process alone was just making me want to eat now that the food is actually actually cooked up and it's ready to serve it's giving me a lot of energy i cannot wait to test this meal so this is just basically part of the one pot recipes because i've cooked everything together i've only added a little bit of uh, green pepper on top to give it the color green guys this is so nice this is so yummy i totally totally hope that you would love it because i do so i'm gonna give somebody here to taste she's kind of shy but i'm gonna pull her here so that she can test for you guys i'm gonna dish a little bit for her all right so i think i'm just gonna put in a little bit of everything like a piece of meat i want to use this spoon here because the angle allows me to take everything from the bottom like this you really need the QC part of everything. Well, yeah, I think you have the sweet potato. You have the meat. No, you don't have the sweet. No, you do have the sweet potato. Should I add some bread? Mm -hmm. Okay. It looks appetizing, right? Mm -hmm, I, don't I don't know if this is just still tasting, guys. Look at how much it's gonna be tasting, yo, girl. Okay. okay. Maybe you'll like it. So, you can come around. So, here she is, guys. Say hello. Hi. So, guys, her name is Bethel. She's gonna be tasting this and she's gonna tell you how it tastes. There you go. You can try a little bit of everything. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the potato. Okay. Yeah, it's nice and soft. Mm. Wow. How is it tasting? Really good. It's oh. amazing. Okay. Sweet potato. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to add the sweet potato. Okay. Mm. It's nice. Is it? Mm -hmm. I haven't tasted it, you know. It's actually really nice. It has this, it has this nice sweet sour taste. Because it's sweet potato, you know, the sweetness from the sweet potato. Mm -hmm. And then sour, sweet sour taste from the spice and whatever. Mm. I love it. I love it. Guys, I like it when I make food and people are like to eat it. Mm -hmm. um, it's really nice. She just wants to make you guys hungry. Mm, this is nice. Okay, now you make me feel hungry too because yeah. of the way I'm looking at you. It tastes really nice. Like, y'all, uh, I made that. I haven't even tasted it. And look at the way you're just it's chewing it really in nice. my face. So, yeah, guys, so that's make it work with mouse. You've heard it's very yummy. Especially the sweet potato. Look at it. It's so nice and far in here. Ooh, it's soft. And... Oh, thank you. Thank you. We just. <laughs> on our first video today i hope you liked it and i hope you're gonna have some fun trying out this yummy recipe now it's time for me to eat too i think i should actually taste it okay. This is really nice. okay guys so here is my own portion that i'm gonna be trying did you see the way Bethel was chewing the food oh my god <laughs> i also felt like trying it right there now she's laughing at me so did i put everything in Mm. The chicken is well done. Mm. Really? Yeah. Mm. Wow. <clears throat> oh my god, the sweet potato. Mm. You know, I cook this recipe every other time, but I feel like I get a different taste altogether. Like it gets yummier and yummier and yummier by the day. Alright, guys. So this is what we do at Make It Work with Meals. We cook, we eat, we do fashion, we design and stuff like that. We just make everything work, you know, 
make it work with males welcome to the channel once again don't forget to like comment and subscribe and even leave comments guys we need them we need them you're the ones who are gonna help us grow i hope you enjoy your time at home trying this out this recipe as for now peace out <laughs>